Well, everybody, welcome back to another video. We're enjoying this ride, We're enjoying this bike. It's the usual time for the music to start right now. Alrighty guys, so an interesting start to, well actually not really an interesting start to the week, I don't really even know what I'm saying, but I am about to go ahead in and do some deadlifts. Now last week, if you guys checked out the latest vlog, you'll see that I went into last week's workout, really just wanting to see what 415 felt like and I went to 425 and did some doubles with that. But I think I wanna scale it back to 405 this week or possibly just 415 and just try to do some triples but I really want to see how my deadlifts go. I didn't actually get to do any conventional deadlifts heavy this weekend, so I'm thinking that things will be pretty good there. I actually did some rack pulls yesterday with 465 sumo for the first time in forever, so I'm actually really interested to see if that is going to help me get a little bit stronger. I think rack pulls are really a great movement, so I wanna start incorporating more of them. I'm really interested to see how things go today in the gym with deadlifts, so we'll see how it goes. Same old oatmeal, of course. Alrighty guys, so I wouldn't say totally disappointing. Workout wise, I managed to go in and I didn't do 425 this week. I put 415 on the bar and I got two reps on the first try before my grip gave out on me and then I did three reps on the second try. So, I mean, I thought initially after I got done with the pull, I thought about, you know, the fact that I've hit this before. I hit this back in like, fuck, back in like August of last year when I was even doing my trip and I was all the way up in Northern California, I hit that already. And, um, you know, I was stronger at one point, but there were, I, under different circumstances. And I might not be as strong as I was in past points right now, but that doesn't mean that I'm necessarily just overall lacking strength. I mean, I, for example, like my, my squat, for whatever reason, is, is stronger than it's ever been. I did 345 pounds for a 4x4 last week, and I'm not going to just get down on myself because I didn't hit a, a bunch of reps at, a, at this weight. You know, I, I, I could go back to the fact that when I did hit that last August or whenever the fuck it was, I did 425 pounds for three reps and that was my top set, that's all I did. Today, admittedly I got pissed because I did two reps and I put 425, or I put 415 on the, or I left 415 on the bar, went back at it and got three more reps, so I, st I stayed there, I kept it consistent. So my strength, I'm still conditioning myself to train at a set weight and, and keep it there, not go up to a top set and not ramp up. So I'm stoked about that. I did 275 for my paw squats afterwards, which felt relatively heavy and really painful because I have a really bad sunburn on my back right now from not wearing sunscreen when I went out to ride this weekend and speaking of that I have been riding a lot more so that well not a lot more just this past weekend I did it four days in a row so understandably my strength kind of just still does this a lot but it's still an upward trend which is good and um, yeah I'm happy with the way things are at but I'm not gonna get down on myself for not performing 100% over my expectations so now that that's done, I'm gonna go home and finish this video I've been editing. Oh, fucking thing. All right guys, so I'm back from the gym and of course the grocery store, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got right now. 
Starting off with this gem, it actually hasn't been completely smashed yet. This koi bread, 49 cents for this entire thing, so I decided to get on that, and I love my toast, so uh, I got some of that. And then I actually haven't gotten rice checks. Well, this is like the knockoff brand of rice checks. This is rice splits. This is like a dollar ninety nine for this entire box. Um, I usually have cereal before I go to sleep, and I'm really not too. I try to get my my cereal with like very very low fiber. It says zero grams of fiber, so. Um, too much fiber is a big no-no for me, and I get so much fiber from vegetables and just just sweet potatoes and fruit and all that. So that's why I keep a lower fiber on all my like non-vegetable like things. So speaking of vegetables, we got some frozen veggies right there, like usual. I got some pollock, which I'll be growing up tonight. Some lettuce, all stuff you guys have seen before. Cashew milk, yum 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 yum. Sugar-free syrup. Uh, some diet cocoa mix, which is really good on oatmeal and just actually make, like mixing with coffee too. This stuff is the best, best teriyaki sauce ever. Less sodium, really, really good. I love that stuff. I will eat that for the rest of my life. Delicious baking cocoa and some pears, which need to be sitting out because they're like way too firm. I, I don't know what the word is for it, but uh, some apples, some sugar-free pudding mix. Again, goes really good in oatmeal. Alrighty guys, in this bag right here, I got some rice cakes, of course, huge staple in my diet, and some sugar-free pudding mix. This is all, again, just stuff you guys have all seen before. Nothing really new in here. Uh, silk, cashew milk is my, is my pick for cashew milk currently. Lettuce, some baking cocoa. I go through a, a lot of baking cocoa, going through cream and peanut butter, like always. Frozen cauliflower, frozen broccoli. And then some pears, some reduced fat mayo, some garlic, and some stevia. All right, guys, in my Target bag, I scored a good deal on some chicken. Now, this is like 50% off right now. This is normally $18.30, and this entire thing was $4.71. So that's, holy shit, how much is that? This is six pounds. Well, I don't eat it with the skin on, so uh, I don't even know how much that equates to when you take the skin off, but it's a lot of chicken. Uh, frozen veggies, usual stuff. And then um, I decided that I needed to get a uh, new rag for my kitchen, or towel for my kitchen, so I decided to get one with the rooster on it. Yep, I oh know, that's me. Uh, lettuce right there, and wants to come out of here. Apples and pears, and Last but not least, some strawberries. That's it for the grocery haul, guys. See you in the next part of the video. That is a big ass breast. <sighs> All right. That's a hot piece of chicken, man. The rest of my veggies are done. The next day. So I eat oats. This is a really odd way for me to come into the frame, but oh well. Um, so I eat oats every single day. The cool thing about PES is they actually have like a, uh, I don't really even want to call it like a formula, but you can actually mix this with oats and it's special for it and it tastes really, really good. So it's protein and, and oats. So I mean, it's supposed to taste amazing. So we're going we're gonna to try it out right now. hard part about doing all this is doing social media and also trying to try something for the first time at the same time. So that is the final outcome. This is the peanut butter honey flavor. So peanut butter and honey. Uh, this stuff's actually really, really good. 80 calories for a serving. Uh, 1.5 grams of fat, three carbs, three carbs in all this. Wow. 15 grams of protein. I like it. You guys can save 15% if you use electric 15. Link is always down below. Cheers.
Alrighty guys, so I get back home from the gym and I find an interesting little package on my doorstep. I wonder what it could be. YouTube actually sends out awards whenever you reach these milestones. I reached 100,000 subscribers about almost two years ago. Well, a year and a half ago in October of 2016, I wanna say. It, it's been a while. And they didn't really get around to sending me my 100,000 subscriber plaque, so that's essentially what this is. I already got my sights set on 500,000, actually a million. I don't really treat this too well. Oh, we have a letter. <laughs> That's pretty actually, that's pretty fucking sick. You guys will see this in just a second. So, uh, YouTube has given me a formal letter. You've just done something that very few YouTubers creators, YouTube creators accomplish. You had an astounding 100,000 people subscribe to your channel. We know that numbers on YouTube can get really big, but we hope that you don't lose sight of the reality behind that six digit milestone. Each and every person who subscribed to your channel has been touched and entertained by what you've created. They've also been inspired, challenged, or entertained. I'm not going to read this entire thing to you guys, but I will show you guys that this little plaque is pretty sweet, dude. It's pretty sweet. That is a YouTube creator plaque. So it says, presented to Eric the Electric for passing 100,000 subscribers. One hell of a journey, people. Like I said, I'm looking forward to 500,000 and then eventually a million one of these days. The next day. Whew, man, I have been, uh, I've been up for quite a while. It's about 1.45 in the afternoon. I'm about to head to the gym. I've been editing my latest video, which was absolutely insane that I did last weekend. Oh, uh, today, but more importantly today, I'm gonna be going for 350 pounds on my squat. Now my squat, if you guys haven't uh, really been around or just finding the channel now, uh, my squat started at 315 and I started low bar squatting at 315 about a month ago and gradually I've increased it to now. I'm at 350 pounds and last week I did 345 for a 4x4. I've been increasing each week. I started uh, in 10 pound increments and now I'm working from 315 to 350. So hopefully today I can get a 4x4. I'd be really happy with a 4x4 but I honestly guys, 345 last week was pretty damn heavy and but I do like the squat. I like the squat more than anything right now and I'm really just hoping I can hit that 350 and I can be that guy to whenever someone asks, hey, how much do you squat? I can go about tree fitty. That's the joke for today. If you guys don't get that reference, I'm sorry, but let's go squat. <laughs> Alrighty, so 350 pounds for a 4x4. First things first, people, I have to acknowledge the fact that I'm my squat is the strongest it's ever been, so I'm very, very happy about that. I'm really proud of myself for just going to the gym today and, and getting under the bar and just giving it 100% effort. And, um, you know, it's it's great to be able to to work at this type of percentage right now. Admittedly, though, it was it was really heavy. The last, or actually I should say the third set was probably the hardest set. 
for me. I definitely felt it. Next week, I'm probably gonna have to take it down a notch. So I'll probably work at 315 next week or just work at 75% for a week. Just kind of maybe even deload on my squat and deadlift. Uh, just because right now it, it seems to be very very heavy. It feels definitely really heavy. My elbows and my actually I would say my wrists. My wrists don't hurt as much as my elbows do. And my tri it's like my elbow slash tricep area after I hit heavy squats, heavy low bar squats. So I'm thinking I might need to just. I need to play around with my grip or something just to make it, you know, hurt less. <laughs> but other than that, I am super, super happy with myself. I knew going into today, I mean, even when I was on the spin bike warming up, I'm doing my cardio before squats, I knew I was going to be strong today. I knew I was going to be powerful and just taking that motivation from the warm up into to my actual training session was, was great. So, uh, yeah, other than that, I'm preparing for a another night of editing and a weekend of filming. So it should be, should be great. I'll see you guys later. Hi guys. Well, I don't really know how to close out this video because I feel like I'm kind of just throwing stuff into my vlogs lately on the second channel. Hopefully you guys don't mind that. And if you do mind it, sorry, get over it. Uh, I, sorry. There's just been those like little snippets of negativity that have seeped into this channel. Like I've talked about numerous times. I'm not really going to make a huge issue of it. Uh, but I do want to say thank you to all of those or to those of you who have stuck around over the past few months and actually just past few years of everything. Uh, I just got back from a Mother's Day dinner with my mom and I was just telling her how much I appreciate and just value what I what I do for a living, which is simply just creating content on YouTube. Well, I shouldn't say just. And I get to pretty much live a life that not a lot of people get to live and I'm extremely thankful for it. I really was down on myself for two main things this last week and that was, you know, I, I, some just things didn't go the way that I wanted them to go with a certain freaking lift in the gym. I was I, I was pretty pissed off about that, admittedly. And body image thoughts have been kind of just hitting me lately a lot more. And I even found myself responding to somebody that asked me about like a future video last week. And uh, they were like, hey, you know, when are you gonna do this giant food challenge thing? I'm like, well, it probably not gonna happen because I probably gonna be starting my cut soon. And I thought to myself after I said that, and I was like, you have no reason to even think about weight loss or cut right now. Sure, you're holding a little bit more fat than you usually do. I just, I was really appalled by me saying that like the day after I looked back on it in retrospect, and I was like, that's totally not even anything I'd wanna do right now. I don't really even need to do that. If you walked with me on the street, you would look at me as a normal person, not somebody that needs to lose weight. Sure, I do some crazy stuff online but honestly people it's not worth it in the end to fixate on something that's just body fat you can lose body fat so easily it's not really something you need to concern yourself with now if i was faced with chronic health problems and i had cholesterol problems i had diabetes or i had some something that was telling me okay weight loss is going to make you healthier then i could consider that but right now i'm just enjoying my life and that's all that really matters. I would encourage more of you to do the same. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. And also, what do you guys wanna see more of? I'm still kinda of just putting up whatever I feel like I wanna put up on this channel, which is cool, but I like to have some direction. If you guys wanna chime in, let me know. Follow me on my social media if you haven't already. I feel like I say that way too often. You guys know the links are down below. Thanks for watching the video, guys. I'll see you next time.